children let's see first example of subtraction 794 minus 192 okay so now i will write these numbers as for the places so in first number 4 is present at 1's place 9 is present at 10's place and 7 is present at 100's place in same way, I will write this number also. We have to do subtraction over here. Yes? So, we will start subtracting the numbers from 1's place itself. So, 4 minus 2 becomes? Yes? Tell me the answer. Yes. Very good. Answer is 2. Now, we will... Focus on tens place. 9 minus 9 becomes very good. Answer is 0. When we subtract same number from same number, answer comes 0. Okay. And now we will subtract 7 minus 1. So 7 minus 1 becomes 6. Very good. So our answer is 602. To this answer, we also call it as difference. So, difference is 602. Okay. We will see one more example. 987 minus 50. Okay. So, first I will write bigger number as for the places. Yes, now we will write second number 50. Now again we will subtract 0 from 7. Yes, tell me answer. Very good. Answer is 7. Why? Answer is 7. Yes. Because whenever we subtract 0 from any number, answer remains itself. Yes. Now, 8 minus 5. Yes, I am waiting for your answer. Yes, answer is 3. Very good. And 9 will remain as it is. Yes. So, our answer is or difference is 937. I hope all of you have understood the sums. Okay. Children, just now we have seen the subtractions of numbers without void. Now we will revise the subtraction of numbers with void. Okay. So my First step is to write the numbers as per the proper places. In same way, I will write second number. Now, we will subtract the numbers. Okay? Now, we will focus on one's place. Here, one is present and we have to subtract nine. So, can we subtract 9 from 1? No. So, what we have to do? We have to borrow number from this 9. So, it will become 8. And here, it will be 1. And this one, it will become 11. Now, we can subtract this 9 from 11. So, tell me, what is the answer? Yes, answer is 2. Very good. Now, 8 minus 7 becomes, yes, very good, 1. And 7 minus 1, 6. So, our answer is 612. So, to this we also call it as difference. Yes, very good. Let's see one more example. 927 minus 80. So, I will write these numbers first. Yes. 
Yes, tell me 7 minus 0 becomes 7. Very good because whenever we subtract 0 from any number, answer remains itself. Okay, now just focus on tens place. We cannot subtract 8 from 2. Yes, so we have to borrow number from this 9. So this 9 will become 8 and this 2 will become 12. Here, what is the borrowed part? Yes. So, 12 minus 8. Yes. Tell me the answer. Yes. Answer is 4. And this 8 will remain as it is. Yes. So, our answer is Eight hundred and forty-seven children. I hope all of you have understood this revision sums.